Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. Today we're headed into the old school house for, uh, the sixth time. Yeah, let's head on inside. Yeah, they're locked, so here we go. Yeah, it's basically saying that, you know, once you do this, you're not going to be able to go back, so use the key. And let's move and groove. Who's coming along with me? Um, I want to bring along, let's see, uh, Milliam, definitely. Uh, Gaius, Elliot, Elisa... And let's throw in Crow. Why not? So there we go. Yeah, sounds good to me. You're going to at least want Laura, Machias, or Milliam because we have some stuff to destroy in here. All right, who's ready for another trip into the unknown? This will be your sixth time down here, but don't let yourselves get too comfortable. There's no telling what we'll find next. Right. Just the second time for me in the short stack, but we're not planning on letting our guard down. Yeah, this is one weird place. So what? Half a year now since we first started exploring beneath the old schoolhouse? And even after all that time, we still have no idea what's causing all the strange phenomena we see down here. Yeah, I didn't think the mystery would go this deep, literally and figuratively. But so far we've uncovered plenty of questions and precious few answers. Ah oh, well, we'll just have to keep on pushing forward bit by bit. We're making some kind of progress, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. Anyway, let's check out the elevator console. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Let's move and groove right along. And pretty much for my party members, as usual, I choose who I have the least affinity with, or the least bonding points with, just to raise it up. Whoa, what's wrong, Reen? Well, as you can see, the space in the console for the 6th floor is lit up now, but that's the last one. All the lights on the elevator's panels are lit up now. Huh? That means the 6th floor is the last one. I have to admit, it feels kind of anticlimactic. Yeah, I feel like it's a bit too sudden for this to really be the end. Either way, no way to know for sure until we see what lies in wait down there. Maybe the sixth floor is some different somehow. Uh, maybe. Well, let's go check it out. Yeah, away we go. And if I'm slurring my speech at all, I'm very sorry. I uh, went out drinking earlier today, and now it's late, and I figured why not. So here we are, six floors down. Gotta say, it doesn't look much different from the fifth floor. You really sure this is the bottom? Well, considering what we've seen of this place, there's no telling what we might find farther in. Stay on your guard, everyone. Right! Well, let's go. No time like the present. Sorry about that cut right there. I just wanted to make sure that I had everybody all linked up, and um, that I had uh, ugh, a random encounter. Lovely. No way! That's just cheating! Ugh. See, that's what I get for trying to avoid him. I really should just fight him. You know, like seriously. Anyway, I wanted to make sure it was linked up, that everybody had um, their quartzes on, that I wanted to have them on, that everybody had, you know, the decent accessories, all that kind of crap. So pretty much just setting up my party. Oh, that sucks. Uh, let's see what I can use against these guys. Let's see, can I get a buster arm? There we go. That'll be nice. Oh, except that they resist it. That's just lovely. Uh, let's see, Gale Stinger. I'll get two of them there. Awesome. Oh, there we go. I can do this. Uh, let's see what you can't do. Um, no, that's not good. That's okay. Some molten rain. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. There we go. Sweet. Come on, take him down. Awesome. Are they still not? Oh, I was gonna say they're still not linked, but no, it's because I got the um, because I got surprised, so everybody gets unlinked, which really sucks. But eh. What you gonna do? Hey, nice. Not that I'll ever use it, because I don't think I'd have bought a single quartz this entire game, but eh, whatever. Uh, can we just get around you? Like, thank you, sometime, today, this century? Let's get Holy crap! Look how many of them there are! This is ridiculous. Okay. Oh, I only got two? Uh, I thought it'd be better than that. Uh, let's see, we'll try the uh, blue lullaby. Got a lot of them here with that. This has a wide range. Come on, there we go. Okay, awesome. All four. Better than what I did with the Autumn Leaf Cutter. I sucked crap with that. Uh, Buster Arm? Uh, yeah, we'll get those guys. And I get a critical hit with it, too. Awesome! Uh, there we go. Let's raise it up. Sweet! To me. And let's see. Gale Singer. Yeah, I got all three of them there. Nice! Yeah, these guys can put you to sleep. They can confuse you. 
Um, they can do all sorts of crap to you, and they're a royal pain in the ass to have to deal with. Especially if you get um, surrounded by them, and they get uh, the first strike against you, and then they put everybody to sleep. Like, that's... it can be pretty ridiculous, I've gotta say. Uh, speaking from experience, actually, yeah, it took me like 10 rounds to get rid of these guys. And I essentially just had to end up using um, an S-Craft. Whoever woke up first, I just hadn't used their S-Craft just to get rid of the assholes because they were really pissing me off. Uh, can I get him with the turbulence? Is he really? You're that far away? Uh, what about the Savage Fang? There we go. Nice! Hey! Okay, there we go. Ooh, another critical hit. Man, to what do I owe this? Hey, yeah, you're telling them. Nice. Awesome. What a you material, too. Hey, never have enough of those. Okay, so keep on moving. Basically, we're just going around, um, hitting all the switches that we see, getting all the treasures that we see as well, and fighting all the monsters that we see. But this, I think, is the last monster that I'm going to be showing in here. I'm pretty sure that we've seen all of them after we see uh, this guy here. But, I mean, for as big and as formidable as they look... They go down so quick! I mean, look at that! That's that, that's ridiculous! These guys have more, uh, more backbone than the other guys, I've gotta say. Eh, not that that's saying much, though, so yeah, they went down pretty quickly, too. Okay, so anyway, we've gotten everything that we wanted to do. Go ahead and hit this switch. And yeah, it's another kind of switchy puzzle dungeon, but it pretty much tells you which way to go. Like, once you get moving, you can't go the wrong way. Basically, you just start going right, and then you're fine. Uh, the, the ultimate goal is to get down to the lower level, and you do that by hitting these switches, which lower stairs. And there's two uh, stairway switches that we have to hit. So, yeah, let's nab you. BAM, BITCH! Okay, go over here. What do we have? Oh, a treasure chest. Oh, some holy breath. Nice! Uh, let's see, we've already hit that switch, so just head on over here, and, uh, let's see, have we gone over here? Let's see, where am I going? Okay, yeah, so I'm going the right way. Uh, we want to go over here and hit this next switch. I don't want to fight you! So, as I was saying, I went out drinking earlier. Um, the whole reason is my friend's going through, uh, some problems. He met some guy about a year or so ago from Brazil, and, um... He thought that, you know, that they would be together forever, that he was the one, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, not working out the way that he planned. And now he feels that they're going to break up. Um, and he's just upset about it. You know, he's just going through all that. And he's saying, you know, he's like, I don't know, what is he, like, 38, I think? He's like 38, 39 years old. And he said, you know, he's going to be single for the rest of his life. And he's just really upset about it, so I had to go out and kind of comfort him, let him know that, you know, everything would be fine. And I think he's good now. He met some other guy there, and, uh, yeah, I think he hit it off with that guy. <laughs> so, just go over here, and, oh, yeah, here we have those pillars that I told you about that we have to knock down. So use, uh, Milium or Laura or Machias for that. And there we get the Juggler Quartz. Let's check that out. Why not? Uh, let's see, or mid quartz. Uh, you know what? I kind of think that it's a uh, master quartz, just by the looks of it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Huh. Well, that's actually not half bad. I've got to say, the speed boost is like abysmal, though. So yeah, um, I'm all about the speed as far as those master quartzes are concerned. So anyway, we did everything there. So let's head on down to the next floor. Yeah, there's only two floors that we got to go through here, so that's not too terrible. Looks like we've still got a ways to go. Yeah, you could say that again. Let's see. This looks like a nice spot. So these next floors are much simpler. Anyway, if you go over Ooh, here, like there's a fishing spot. So I'll go ahead and do that off screen. I uh, took care of that. So let's head on over here. And um, these next maps, I don't remember if I said it or not because I have the memory of a gnat, are much smaller than the previous map. Um, you would think that, that you know the first map would just kind of be you know, allowing you to get a taste of the different puzzles and all that, but not so much on this- WHOA! Map. Yeah, that guy came out of nowhere. But yeah, uh, now that we've done that switch, we can move on to the next part of the map. It didn't even show it earlier. Yeah, so now what we gotta do is head straight over, grab this chest, and then we'll just move right along. Die, bitch! 
And over here, what do we have? Oh! Uh, I didn't want Augatlom. Yeah, okay, so get an EP charge. I hate having her in the lead. Yeah, let's put Gaius in the lead. He's better eye candy anyway. Anyway, head on down here. And let's see. Ugh, this guy again. Eh, screw you. Uh, let's see, where do I need to go? I need to go this way. Whoa! Yeah, there we go. Okay, out of my face! Okay, so let's see. Over here, I believe we have some... Did I miss some treasure? Oh, I guess not. Okay, perfect. Okay, keep on moving and grooving right along over through here. And another guy. Ugh. Okay, I just want to hit the switch. And yes, as a matter of fact, I did miss a treasure chest. Note to self... Don't do any more videos whenever you're a little bit buzzed, because you say things that you probably shouldn't be saying, and you miss little things that you probably shouldn't be missing. But it's not that big of a deal. Anyway, so you want to run on back uh, up to the second floor area. Avoid that asshole again. Let's see where am I going. Okay, so go straight through here. Yeah, that's why I missed it, because this bitch knows damn pillars. Um, you. No, not you. Yeah, uh, I want Millium for this. Okay, break that down, and can I go through? No. Can I move now? S seriously? Can I... I'm stuck? Um, can I go somewhere? Like... You've gotta be kidding me. There we go! Perfect! Okay. I was gonna say... I was like, do I need to, like, save and reload? Holy crap! And we get Impenetrable Shield! Let's check that one out, too. Why not? Uh, is that a... I don't think that that's a Master Quartz, though, so where is it? There it is. Eh... Eh, eh, not too concerned about that. Anyway, let's keep on going. I'm not a big fan of defensive plus anything, I've got to say. Unless I find a boss where, like, I really need the defense or else I'm going to die a horrible, painful, absolute death, I could really give two shits about uh, having your defense high or your HP high, uh, for that matter. Where, where am I going? There we go. Okay, um... I guess that's maybe something that I learned from playing Magic. Like, ha having your HP, you know, it, it doesn't matter if it's high or if it's not. As long as you're winning, as long as you're in the game, that's all that matters. You know, if you have 20 HP or if you have 1 HP, it doesn't matter. You're still in the game. You still have a chance to win. Oh, this looks like the end! Certainly does, so let me go uh, heal up and everything and I'll meet you in a second. Okay, I took care of what little I had to actually take care of. So, let's go on in here and fight the boss! As if that's a spoiler, there's not a boss at the end of these, uh, dungeons. Like, seriously? Oh. And never just one! Oh, that one looks tough. This will be fun! Eh, fun's one way to put it. Go. Let's see, can I flame slash them both? No, that sucks. Uh, let's see, let's try... Hmm. What about an autumn leaf cutter? Can I get that on both? What about a uh, gale? I can't do anything on both? You've gotta be kidding me. Um... Then use... Eh, let's flame slash the crap out of this bitch. Hey, look at that damage! 19,000 damage! Yeah, um, it's really nice to use uh, his S-Craft on the very first turn because I gave a, uh, a quartz to him that doubles the damage that you do on your first turn. So that's really good, it's really nice. Um, that's why I was able to beat Angelica so easily last time as well. Let's see, yeah, this is the HP regain one, there we go. Awesome. Yeah, Elliot, my boss destroyer, it's so nice. Ooh. Um, until well, I'm just gonna have you guys just regularly attack this guy over here. And then the other one we'll take care of nice and easy. Um, I actually I think that I will. I was gonna say I could just have everybody else use their S crafts, and yeah, why not? Sounds like a plan to me. Leave it to me. Yeah, especially Gaius, you have Calamity Hawk at 200 CP, let's go! Nice! I figured that we've already seen Reen's um, S-Craft a billion times, so um, I could skip through that stuff. But the other ones, we don't really ever get to see as much as Reen's, so I'll show those off. Been a 
wonderful audience. Wow, that's really not that great, I've got to say. about little girls in JRPGs who have weapons bigger than their entire bodies, and they seem to have no problems at all wielding these weapons. <laughs> Don't mess with us. And just a little something that I've noticed throughout my time in JRPG land. I did it! Nice. Yeah. Take the words right out of my mouth. Ah, oh, they sure didn't pull their punches. Ah oh, well, we beat them. And nothing's happening. No sign of any new door opening either. Yeah, you're right. For the final floor, that seems like kind of a letdown. Come to think of it, it's all just been business as usual since the fourth floor, hasn't it? True. We've been able to access a new floor every month, but that's about it. I guess we can't do much more here right now. Let's head on outside. Rightio! Okay. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna meet you outside. Well, congratulations, we all survived another month of exploration. And sure enough, nothing suddenly appeared on our way back out. Well, if the sixth floor really is the bottom of the ruins, that would mean we're finally done with our monthly investigations, right? I'm a bit irritated. We still haven't cracked a single one of its mysteries. This is just my hunch, but I don't think we've just taken our last trip to the old schoolhouse. Maybe we should tell the principal later and see what he thinks. Oh, it's Celine. What's up? A cat? Oh, yeah, it's Celine. Are you acquainted with this cat? You know Celine Fee? Yep, saw her with Emma once. Doesn't seem like Emma's a real owner, but it was almost like they were having a conversation somehow. When you put it that way, I've gotten that impression before, too. Oh, her name's Celine? Has a nice ring to it. And the fur's so pretty, too. She's wearing a ribbon on her tail. If Emma's not her owner, I wonder who is. Still, she's quite an elegant-looking cat. Yeah, she has kind of a noble air. I think she and I would get along. She doesn't seem to mind all the attention, at least. Oh. What is it? It seems like she wants something from me. The question is, what? Yeah, what's going on? Huh. Odd-ass cat. Looks like she's had enough affection for one day. Do you think that she'll be alright? I wouldn't want her to wander into the old schoolhouse and get hurt. Eh, she'll probably be fine. She looks like she knows her way around the campus. True. And she seems pretty intelligent, too. I guess we're probably worrying for nothing. Yeah, it's a freaking cat. She'll be fine. Anyway, we might as well call it a day. Yeah, you're right. Oh, well, let's not forget. When we get back to the dorm, we need to sit down and discuss what we're doing for the festival. Oh, almost forgot about that. Well, it sounds like we have plenty to keep us busy tonight. After all the progress that we've made, I'd really rather we were the ones to solve the mysteries of the old schoolhouse. Ah oh, well, guess there's not much of a point in dwelling on it now. Oh yeah, it's almost time to meet up with Toa. I should head on up to the computer room on the second floor of the main building. Yeah, awesome. Ooh, got chaos. Hey, hey! Yeah, it's now time for evening bonding and evening, um, events and things like that. But let's check out that chaos one. Huh, that sounds really crappy, I've got to say. But uh, anyway, I was going to end it here, but we have a uh, hidden quest that we can do. So let's head over to the gym, and we have plenty of time to do it, too. Uh, that old schoolhouse quest did not take as long as I thought it would. What are you doing here, Swarzer? Not a whole lot, just passing through. You seem pretty focused, though. What do you mean by that? Hope you're not implying that I made my way here to practice or any such nonsense. Got it. He seems kind of crestfallen. Did something happen? Nothing that has to do with you. For all of his noble posturing, Patrick worries about things like anybody else. Maybe I can help him out. Would you mind telling me what happened? I'm not trying to offer you my help as charity or anything like that, but sometimes it can help just to talk things through with someone. You really are a strange fellow, aren't you? But if I must, I must. If you wouldn't mind. Where do I begin? To be completely frank, I'm a little concerned about Celestine. That's a surprise. I can't imagine what a butler of his skill could do to cause someone else concern. 
It seems he may be overestimating his abilities somewhat. For the last week or so, he's been acting rather odd, for lack of a better term. Not only has he stopped reprimanding me when he normally would, he's taken to spoiling me too. Worse yet, every reply he gives me sounds half-hearted and empty. Now that is odd for him. This is the first time he's ever done something like this too. Don't misunderstand me, he still performs his duties as a butler magnificently. However, his actions of late seem to have made him seem distant, more so than ever. Curiously, I've also overheard him discussing seemingly serious issues over the telephone too. Something must be going on. Agreed. Unfortunately, whenever I bring it up, he simply brushes me off. This is infantilizing, of course, but more dishearteningly, it feels like a betrayal of trust. I've never seen the two of us as a typical master and servant, but something more. Perhaps something more akin to brothers. Maybe I can worm some details out of him. Oh? It's possible. He might be going through something that he'd rather not involve those he cares about in. But I won't get involved if you don't want me to. If that's the case. You truly wouldn't mind? Not in the slightest. Leave it to me. What exactly do you hope to gain by helping me, Swarzer? I suppose it doesn't matter. You'll likely find Celestine attending to the upper class dorm. I leave discovering the truth to you. Head over there right now! Well, then let's go. And hit the wrong button as usual. Uh, let's see, I want to go to ba -ba -da -ba, the Academy Front Gate. Yeah, uh, let's see, so upper class dorm is the one that is raised up at the stairs, you know. With it being upper class, you have to go up the stairs, of course, and talk to this girl. Oh, hello there, is something I can help you out with? I'm actually looking for Celestine. You haven't seen him around anywhere, have you? I have, but he left for your dorm just a short while ago. He mentioned having something to collect from Sharon. Huh, wonder what it is. Thank you. Yeah, so away we go. Uh, class 7 dorms. Yeah, it's, uh, I hate having to look through that map. It's like, I can never find exactly what I'm looking for the first time. Oh, hello, Masterine. Is there something you need from me? I'm actually certain f searching for Celestine right now. Have you seen him? I heard that he was headed over here. Indeed, you missed him by a matter of moments. As it happens, I'd made too much dip for dinner this evening. So I decided to offer him what we wouldn't be able to eat, which he said he would gladly take off of our hands. So he was here to collect it. I see. Maids and butlers have their own economy here, don't they? Does that mean that he headed back to the upper class dorm then? Not necessarily. There was something about his demeanor today that seemed quite different than usual. He was considering a brief stop at Kirsch's on his way back to unwind a little. Though I can't say for sure that he's headed there. Kirsch's, was it? Well, that's my next stop at least. Thanks, Sharon. Ah, you're welcome. So, uh, let's head on down. Maybe he's, a uh, undercover alcoholic. Who knows? Celestine. Good day, Masterine. My apologies, as always, for the constant trouble Master Patrick causes you. No worries. He's not as half as much trouble as he tries to be. Hold on a second. Is that alcohol you're drinking? Not even I can escape the allure of drinking on the job once in a while. Sorry, that was my terrible attempt at a joke. Of course this is not an alcoholic. I'm here for the atmosphere rather than the intoxication. I see. Patrick was right. He is acting kind of strange. Time for me to get to the bottom of this. Hey, Celestine. If I may, Masterine, allow me to guess the sequence of events that brought you here. On your way to the training hall, you just so happen to bump into Master Patrick. After a period of guarded discussion, he let slip his worries about me. And being the paragon of selflessness you are, you offered to talk with me, which ultimately led you here. Am I correct? You haven't been watching us from the shadows or anything, have you? Ha! Huh, not at all. It was simple deduction when you know the pieces in play in the surrounding circumstances. However, the real surprise is that Master Patrick could bring himself to make a request of you. I must have caused him more concern than I'd have imagined. He's really worried about you. I don't want to ask you to say more than you're comfortable with, but isn't there anything you can tell me? Let's just say that things are rather complex. Then, would you prefer to talk to Patrick about whatever's going on? I feel kind of bad for him the way that things stand. I understand. You've come all this way for Master Patrick's sake, so it would be rude of me to leave things as they are. But just telling you everything would be a bit of a bore, so why don't we play a little card game? Uh, seriously? Okay. Lovely. Okay, so we gotta find the seven. Yeah, and if we do that, we'll get some extra AP. Um, if you don't do that, then you'll still get to know what's going on, but you're not gonna get the extra AP. So, yeah, let's do this! Okay, 
Uh, I believe it's the one on the left. And the first time I went through with this, it was also the one on the left. So, please, thank you. Yeah, I'm really bad at looking at those card games. That's why I was silent uh, during all that, because uh, I wanted to really make sure that I got it. Okay, so, what's the issue? I recently... I recently received a direct order return of the High Arms household from the Marquis himself. In fact, I'm expected to return to St. Ark as early as next week. Are you serious? Gravely. Personally, I'd much rather stay by Master Patrick's side. However, I've been told that things are getting hectic over there. I see. I'm surprised to hear that the Marquis would have asked for Celestine specifically. He must be even more talented than we think he is. However, Marquis High Arms is an incredibly good-hearted man. It's entirely possible that he will allow me to continue to do as I wish so long as I carry out the duties he asks of me. So I've been trying to find a way to remain in Trista no matter how much additional work I must do. That's what's had me so occupied of late. And that, embarrassingly enough, has been the root of my odd behavior. That'll do it. But do you mind if I ask why you want to stay by Patrick's side that much, though? Perhaps it does seem a bit strange from your perspective. I'm afraid that we don't have time for the full story, but I will say this. Master Patrick was the one to treat me not as a servant, but as an equal. He gave me a place in the world that others couldn't, and for that, I would do anything for him. I never knew. So this is what Patrick meant when he said that they're more than just master and servant. That said, I feel terrible that my attempts to remain by his side have caused him so much concern. But telling you all this has made up my mind. How so? I've decided that I'm going to tell his lordship exactly how I feel. Should that fail, I'll simply have to think of something else, but I will stay with Master Patrick. But it was speaking to you that allowed me to reach that conclusion. If bouncing your thoughts off of me helped, then I'm glad that I was here. Well then, I shouldn't waste another minute here if I want to settle all this. Allow me to take my leave, Master Mean. Good luck! Hope this works out for you. Also, could I ask you to explain my behavior to Master Patrick? I have some explaining of my own to do later, of course, but I would like it if you could at least share the basic details of my feelings on the matter with him. Of course, you can count on me. Well, let's go. Uh, let's see, he's in the uh, gym. I don't know why we had to play that stupid-ass card game, but eh, whatever. Did you get anything out of Celestine? I did. So he's been told to return to St. Garka, yet he's still doing everything in his power to prevent that from happening. Trying to take action without consulting me again. What foolishness. <laughs> Why do you seem so happy about that? Happy? Sometimes I wonder what color your sky is, Swarzer. Besides, even if Celestine were forced to leave my side, it would be perfectly... No matter. You did well today. You're the last person I want to be indebted to, so take this and call us evening. Oh hey, get it still blue. Hold on, I didn't help you out expecting some kind of reward. That just makes things even worse. I don't wish to be in your debt. Think of this as having fulfilled a formal request and having fulfilled it. Nothing more. As such, you receive your reward, walk away, and no loose ends remain. Got it. Uh, hey, so finished up that secret quest? Let's uh, check out that uh, accessory that I just got. Where is it? There it is. Huh. Well, that would be good for uh, Emma or Elliot. But uh, next time on Let's Play Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel, we will be doing the bonding events and going to see Toa. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.